Hi, good day everyone. Welcome to Healthy Friday Health 101 Talk Show with VE Pharmacy. So today with me, Carrie from BioLife. So as our topic today, we'll discuss about probiotic, why probiotic is important in our daily life, what is probiotic and how could probiotic is good for our health guards. Okay, we actually can be found bacteria all over the body. So we're having a total of 100 trillion of bacteria wow. in the body. Okay. So instead, because as a human mm-hmm. being, we actually look more like a microbial. Wow, that's a lot of bacteria. Where is the bacteria located at? Okay, all these bacteria can be found in the gut, mm-hmm. the skin, mouth, as well in the vagina. So, we need to maintain all these bacteria in a balanced ratio. So, we usually call all these bacteria as microflora. So, this microflora actually do help us to have a digestive system, mm-hmm. supporting our immune system, as well even regulating our mood. So, if we do not have a balanced ratio, then we might be having certain diseases. What will happen if microbiota imbalance happen in our gut? Okay, we do have a balanced ratio mm-hmm. of bacteria in our gut. 85% of them is actually good bacteria, 15% of bad bacteria. So, if we are unable to maintain this balanced ratio, we might be having certain digestive complaints, for example, like constipation, diarrhea, bloating, or even irritable bowel syndrome, in short, IBS. What is irritable bowel syndrome? Okay, irritable bowel syndrome is a functional bowel disorder that characterized by abdominal pain with certain change in the bowel habit. So, IBS is not a disease, however, it will be really affecting the quality of life. So, in one out of six Malaysians are actually having IBS with female having a higher risk. Wow, okay, what IBS happened? Why? Okay, to date, we does not really know why IBS happened. It might be due to several factors like unbalanced diet, gastrointestinal infection, stress, or even taking certain medication might be causing one to have a greater risk to face IBS later on. So, how do I know either I'm facing uh, IBS or not? Okay, here are some simple steps for us to assess mm-hmm. our gastrointestinal health. So, kindly ask yourself the question below. Do you have abdominal pain okay. or cramping? Okay. Do you feel bloated or having gases in your stomach? Mm-hmm. Do you suffer from constipation regularly? Okay. Do you often have diarrhea? So, do you feel like your bowel movement is incomplete? Or do you feel flatulence? Okay. So, Certain people might not know whether they're actually having constipation or diarrhea. That's why we can actually refer to this chart. So if you're having first and second, which means that you're having constipation problem, mm-hmm. the third and the fourth one is a normal bowel movement. Mm-hmm. And as well, the last three, we show that you might be suffering from diarrhea. So in order to be classified as IBS, mm-hmm. so you need to suffer from three or more symptoms mm-hmm. for more than three days in a month mm-hmm. and as well, continuously for three months. Right. What should I do if I'm facing IBS problem? Okay, IBS can actually be managed through lifestyle changes, diet changes, medication. Mm-hmm. So exercising regularly or even managing your stress mm-hmm. will be also helping to ease your IBS symptoms. Current medical treatment usually targeted the symptoms by symptoms. For example, if you're having constipation, you might be taking lassitive. Okay. If you're facing diarrhea, you might be taking anti-diarrhea medication. So, we actually can gain an alternative solution mm-hmm. from this specific strain of probiotic, Lactobacillus plantarum 299V, which is a clinically proven probiotic that can be targeted in effectively relieving your IBS symptoms. Why lactose vascular plantarium 299V is important? Okay, this specific strain, lactobacillus plantarium 299V, have superior property, including mm-hmm. ability to bind to a key receptor oh. that will be secreting a mucus in the intestine, okay. strengthening back the intestinal wall, mm-hmm. as well to deplace the disease-causing bacteria. In addition, it will be able to facilitate the food oh. digestion and metabolism in the intestine by secreting or converting the undigestible carbohydrate into short-chain fatty acid which will be later on nourishing back the intestinal cell. So all this will be explaining the contribution of this probiotic strain in order to balance back the gut microflora and maintaining back healthy gut, especially relieving IBS symptoms. But how 
long does it take to improve the symptom? Okay, according to clinical study, mm -hmm. it has been shown that to reduce the, both the severity as well as the frequency of the symptoms, including just now bloating, constipation, abdominal pain, it will be able to relieve it within one month time. So how should I choose a proper probiotic for my symptom or IBS symptom? Okay, you need to choose a correct probiotic product with live strain of bacteria in the correct amount that targeted mm -hmm. to relieve the IBS symptoms. For example, you could consume our BioLife Pro B LP 299B, which consists of 10 billion CFU of lactobacillus plantarum 299B, a specific strain, in a convenience one a day dose, as well have been proven. This probiotic strain will be able to survive the journey through the gastrointestinal tract. So, IBS can significantly impair the quality of life of the IBS patient. Instead, just relying alone on a conventional treatment, so we now can improve all the symptoms by this powerful specific strain, Lactobacillus spectrum 299B. Thank you for sharing knowledge. I believe we learned a lot about probiotic, IBS symptoms. So stay tuned with us for more interesting videos. Bye-bye.